Welcome to ESPNU's coverage of the 2013 NIT second round as the Stony Brook Seawolves face the Iowa Hawkeyes. 37 and 38 percentage points respectively. And there's Marble to get the scoring started. Woodbury, the seven foot center. Underneath for a wide open right. Into Marble. A back iron, his own board, second chance. Got That's what makes Devin Marble so dangerous. He loves to curl by the elbow. Marble and one. A big hop step inside. May couldn't get past Jackson and a look for Marble. He's hot early, 10 points for the junior. Two guys that can really score and stroke it. Free throw line jumper falls home from Nelson Basabi. In transition, it's white for three. Great push ahead by Marble. White has his feet set. Brook to take a lead. Coley swatted by Woodbury, who grabs the rebound and heaves ahead to Marble. Pull up Jay. Got it. Gazelle to White. Baseline drive. That pass didn't mean to end up at the top of the key, but it's a three for McCabe. May underneath to White for the slam. Well, that's the second back cut they got tonight. Time for one shot for the Hawkeyes. Three-pointer is good for Oglesby. And a heave at the buzzer goes wide by Coley. To do it, but they know each other so well because of their head coach and a great staff. Marble misses the step back. Wow! Basabi figures out where the ball's coming off the rim. One dribble. Flush it in your face. And he gets up quick for the rebound. Gets up even quicker. In the best conference in college basketball next season. Ola Shaney to turn around and he puts it in for his first two. The senior from across the pond in London. White passed up the long shot, steps in, puts a long two. Marble winding down the shot clock. The wide open look is good for May in the corner. Not just three to shoot, White curls it up, followed by Ola Shady. So our final score here, Iowa 75 and Stony Brook 63. Been here before. Um, the goal is bigger this time. You know, we want to we want to get to New York and win that championship. And we know this is just an, one more step towards that. We still got one more game and then that and then just one more after that. So you, we just got to keep grinding, uh, keep working hard in practice, watching film, uh, getting extra shots up, doing doing all the little things. You know, when I look at the stats, I look for things that jump out at me. And the thing that jumps out at me is 20 assists and on 26 baskets. And that's, I think, typifies our team. and. And he's the guy. We're playing with more confidence on the stretch. Um, you know, we're playing tougher on defense. And, you know, I think Dev um, has a big part in that. Um, he's been our playmaker lately. Um, when we need a big bucket, he's been knocking down those shots. And, you know, just the confidence he's been playing with really transfers over to our whole team. We did it, did it the right way. That team is really good that we played. And uh, they play everybody tough. Um, best road most road wins in the country i think and to take care of them they've they've come into vi environments and we, we took care of them and uh you know allowed it to to ease into to the win at the end as a collective whole we don't want to stop playing um you know we, we got the mindset to win this tournament one game at a time and uh, that's what we did tonight we took care of business that's a it's a very good team there's a reason they have 25 wins um one of the more physical teams we've probably played and, even though they're not that big you know they, they really pounded us on the glass and that's a that's a good team so that's a good win for us